Hello, my name is Yang, and from Team Four, we are glad to present to you Explore KU Phase Two. It is a web service companioned with an augmented reality mobile application. With this, it will be an interesting experience for you to learn the map details of campus whenever you are going to classroom or taking the bus. This project is an extension to the project we have done in 2015. We presented the first phase of Explore KU in EECS 448 class. The main function of this Android application was that it would pin all the points of interest and utilities in the campus, like bus stops, academic buildings, and parking lots. In phase one, all information was stored inside a local SQLite database that bonded with the Android application. While this was a good solution for no server setup. We would like to make an app more lightweight and extensible. That's the reason why we plan to develop the phase two. For phase two, we are going to add more features on our original design, like a cloud-based service which hosts all the information. A set of APIs will be provided for more convenient queries. In order to visualize the information, we decided to make an augmented reality application that utilizes the API to provide an enhanced experience when the user walks around the campus. The web application will have four components: a database, a management dashboard, an authentication system, and an API service. First, we have a PostgreSQL database to store all the location data on KU campus. Currently, we plan to have four. Tables, buildings, bus stops, parking lots, and campus objects. We will also create a management dashboard to manage the data. For each of the mobiles, basic product functions include create, read, update, and delete will be implemented. In addition, we will implement a basic authentication system that only allows users with Adam device to modify the data. The last component is an API service to communicate with the mobile application. The general process is that the client will send out the data request to the server on occurrence of events. We propose using moving distance as a metric to trigger the event. For example, if the user has moved 10 meters from the last request location, then fires the new request. The request includes the user's current GPS coordinates as parameters. Upon receiving the request. The server retrieves the user's latitude and longitude and runs a location data aggregation service. The service will query the database and aggregate all the data points within a hundred meters of radius around the user. Finally, the server formats the information as JSON and sends the response back to the mobile client. The mobile client will now parse the response and render the data points on the camera view. You may wonder how this will do. Let's imagine that you are standing across the eating hall. You open the AR application and hover your phone. You will see the different icons in the front of the places you are viewing. If you tap on an icon, you will be able to see the map information that you need, like the name of building, the address, and the facilities in the buildings. For example, for typing a parking lot icon, you can learn what type of permit is allowed, and for the bus stop icon. It tells you the what bus routes that stop there. Currently, we are working with KU Parking and Transit Office to incorporate official data to our service. Cooperating with the KU Office allows us to provide the most detailed and accurate information about KU. Our goal is to try to provide a helpful tool for KU students and visitors as detailed as possible. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for your attention.